Hi, this is Michelle. In this video, we're going to talk about adding your beads and sequins to your felt piece. So usually on page one of your instructions, you will find a little box that talks about how to do your sequins. It gives a little picture here. Um, basically, you know where to put the sequins because the placement is indicated by small dots on the printed felt. So each sequin is attached with a bead using the same floss color as the sequin. So if I'm using a yellow sequin, I'll use one strand of yellow floss. So here is how you do your sequins. So I have an 18 inch strand of yellow floss on my needle. Now this also will tell you on your instructions. This will tell you which needle to use. Um, for this kit, it says use a red, the red package needle. Well, in the kit that I'm doing, um, you get a blue package needle and a purple package needle. Your purple one is the big needle. Your blue one is the, the beady needle. So for this one, I have the blue needle. But just look on your instructions. It'll tell you which needle to use. So I have a knot in my my floss, come up from the back, and I use my yellow sequin and then a clear bead, or sometimes I'll use a yellow bead, it just depends. Pull it down through, and then you just want to go underneath the bead and go back through the hole of your sequin. Pull tight, and I'll do another one. Come up from the back. Get your yellow sequin and a clear bead. And on your sequins, you want to look because there is a certain way the sequin needs to go. There's cup up. That's how you want it to be. Pull it through. And then what I'll do is I'll go back underneath about every two or three and I'll make a knot. That way, if it happens that one might come off, you can not lose a whole line. So we'll do another one. Grab your sequin and grab a clear bead. And pull it through. When I'm all done, say my floss is really short and I can't really do anymore, I'll go through, make a knot, cut it off. And here I'll show you, I'll show you with some bigger sequins. The way that they're supposed to be. So here's two big white ones. This is cup down. You don't want to put your sequins like that because then your bead will sit right on top and kind of stick out. It doesn't, it just looks better if you use them like this. So can you see the difference? This is how you want it. So it looks like a little cup and that's how you do your sequins.